Eov, Job 34. Furthermore, Elihu answered and said, Hear my words, O ye wise men, and give ear unto me, ye that have knowledge. For the ear tries words as the mouth tastes meat. Let us choose to us judgment. Let us know among ourselves what is good. For Eov has said, I am righteous, and Ael has taken away my judgment. Should I lie against my right, my wound is incurable without transgression. What man is like Eov, who drinks up scorning like water, which goes in company with the workers of iniquity, and walks with the wicked men? rather, and walks with wicked men. For he has said, It profits a man nothing that he should delight himself with Elohim. Therefore hearken unto me, ye men of understanding, far be it from El that he should do wickedness, and from El Shaddai that he should commit iniquity. For the work of man... <clears throat> Excuse me, for... For the work of a man shall he render unto him, and cause every man to find according to his ways. Yea, surely Ale will not do wickedly, neither will Ale Shaddai pervert judgment. Who has given him a charge over the earth, or who has disposed the whole world? If he set his heart upon man, if he gather unto himself his ruach and his breath, all flesh shall perish together, and man shall turn again unto dust. If now you have understanding, hear this, hearken to the voice of my words. Shall even he that hates right govern? And will you condemn him that is most just? Is it fit to say to a king, You are Belial, and to princes ye are wicked? How much less to him that accepts not the persons of princes, nor regards the rich more than the poor? For they all are the work of his hands. In a moment shall they die, and the people shall be troubled at midnight, and pass away. And the mighty shall be taken away, without hand. For his eyes are upon the ways of man, and he sees all his goings. There is no darkness, nor shadow of death, where the workers of iniquity may hide themselves. For he will not lay upon man more than right, that he should enter into judgment with El. He shall break in pieces mighty men without number, and set others in their stead. Therefore he knows their works, and he overturns them in the night, so that they are destroyed. He strikes them as wicked men in the open sight of others, because they turn turned back from him, and would not consider any of his ways, so that they cause the cry of the poor to come unto him, and he hears the cry of the afflicted. When he gives quietness, who then can make trouble? And when he hides his face, who then can behold him? Whether it be done against a nation or against a man only, that the hypocrite reign not, lest the people be ensnared. Surely it is meet to be said unto Ale, I have borne chastisement, I will not offend any more. That which I see not, teach me. If I have done iniquity, I will do no more. Should it be according to your mind, he will recompense it 
whether you refuse or whether you choose, and not I. Therefore, speak what you know. Let men of understanding tell me, and let a wise man hearken unto me. Eov has spoken without knowledge, and his words were without wisdom. My desire is that Eov may be tried unto the end because of his answers for wicked men. For he adds rebellion unto his sin. He claps his hands among us and multiplies his words against El.